barrel. The cocoa barrel. Cooking show. First of all, we need some flour because we're going to make some bread for the morning. So it's self raising flour. And I put a quarter because there's enough for two of us for breakfast and lunch. And then I have some flour left over. Then in the camp kitchen I have some mixed nuts and fruit. And I put to the flour. Not too much because we want some for every day. And plus it's nice to eat on its own. Then I must add some water from the bottle. And not too much because you have to mix a dough. And then it's too wet. Uh, and then I've got to add more flour. So here I am mixing it. It's coming. As a child, you used to play with uh, the pastry from your mother. It's called Play-Doh, but now this is for real, it's bread. And you must use self-raising flour because it has the yeast already inside and you don't have to add any yeast. So, now you see it's a little bit too dry, so I add just a little bit more water. So, then I want to put just a little bit of beer because it has some yeast which reacts with the other yeast and will make it rise uh, and will become proof for bread. Now it's coming to a ball, I keep mixing and I add some more flour until it's not sticky and it rolls around in the bowl. Ah. So it's coming now. Whew. That's good. This is how it's come together as a bowl. Now I can pick it up and it's a, not sticky to my hands. So then I don't get flour all over me. And I push with my fist and roll it around in the rest of the flour that is there. And not too much because it uh, needs to rise. So now I live in the sun. Well, it's not much today, but and it will rise. Yeah. Then I must take some uh, uh, chili powder. There you go, kookaburra. Thank you. Yeah. Right, this is very strong chili powder. Bob uh, gave it to me the first time I met him, and. It was very powerful, so I have to be careful. Oh, I have to light the stove. Yeah. Now it comes the sun. Then I put it in the sun. And it will come up right. Now I'm heating the pan with some canola oil, or you can use olive oil. Anything you have, even butter, but butter is on a lower temperature, it burns faster. So I'm going to cook some beans to go with a, a bean pasta. Chili, like a chili con carne. But I want to keep the juice, so... There's the juice from the beans. We don't want to waste it because we're in the bush. And if we waste it, then we can't get it back because we don't have shop here. Good. So nearly all the juice is out. I leave a little bit. And when it's coming hot, I put a bit of chili, which is very strong. I have to watch. Good. Strong. Now I'm going to take my pot, 
not a big one, just a small one. Fill it with some fresh water, as fresh as chlorine can be. And then I can put to here and add some pasta. Just a cheap one. But I'm not going to lose the whole lot because it's just me and Bob. So if you were here, then I get a few more packets. <laughs> so I add the pasta to the cold water. And that'll be enough. That's for another day. And I put the lid on it and it will cook, uh, get softer before I have to cook it because we're in the bush. And we want to save gas. Here I like the stove again. So in the pan I have some chili powder and a bit more oil. To the pan. Then I have some flour to cook the flour off. I must cook the flour off because otherwise it will taste like cardboard. Then I take a fork and I start to move the flour and the chili powder around. And I will smell it because it will become browner and browner. I'm going to add a little bit more oil and then make it into like a, another ball of dough, but it's, it's called a roux. So it becomes, stick together like a ball, it will come, a bit more oil. You have to be careful because we're going to flame the oil. It's coming now. You see, it's together sticky like a board. Come together like the, like the bread dough. Now I add some, when I get a bit of smoke, when it's nice and hot, then I will add some milk. Ah. There the smoke is coming. Add the milk. And then I make the sauce. And I keep turning it and turning it because the sauce is coming thicker and thicker and thicker. And I have to work quick because otherwise it will burn and it will split. So that is finished. Then on goes the pasta. Pasta is on. I bring it to the boil, then I turn the, the heat down. Uh, as soon as it comes bubbles, then I turn it down. Now the sauce I can add some, uh, this is from the shop, honey, but it's good honey. Put rubbish here. And my fork. Add some honey to the yeah. To the chili sauce. Oh wow, that's the chili is very strong. Ah. Then the honey you must put away where there's no ants. As the sauce is still hot, so the honey will go in. All right. That's it. All the lumps come out of the flour, out pushed with the fork. Now it's coming to give it a shake. Let me care. Come up. Coming. I turn it down. Back to the stove. Uh, the pot, the pasta is coming to the boil. So then I add the garlic and I add the sauce from the beans. And I add the sauce from the chili and the flour and the oil. I try and get everything in the pot because it's not a waste in the bush. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can mix it with the pork. Be gentle because it goes all over the side. Right. 
Now, leave the lid on, let it come to the boil. While you're doing that, get your pan ready with some oil and leave the sauce from before inside. Put plenty of oil. Add some tomato, chopped tomato, some oregano. And the beans. And then I give it a little mix. There you go. That's good. Mix. Ah, I have some. That's good. I take the pasta off on the beans and the chili and the juice from the beans. Take a lid, I bring it up to the boil. Then I have the big pan pot, which I carry some wood just in case I have none for a fire, and I put to the table. Clean with my hands. Ah. Then the pasta. Goes into the big pan pot. When the beans is nearly ready, I add to the pan pot. Be careful, the handle is hot. Tight. And mix together. And back to the stove. Yeah. On goes the lid. And five minutes, you have your chili con carne and pasta and then uh, after that I show you how to cook the bread off. We have our big pot, our camp oven and the pasta has come up to the boil as you can see. So you must stir it. It will be hot enough now to shut it off because it's enough heat and we don't want to waste gas and we can just leave that one, put it aside if it's a plastic table, then of course you put something under it. Then we bring our bread. We have the same pan again. We're in the bush, so we just use and use the same thing. So we pick up some different flavors into the, into the bread. And then I take some bread, which is risen nearly double thick. I take half because we can leave the other half for tomorrow, it will rise overnight. I take a little bit more flour, I add it to the, so I can make like a, ah, I think it's Indian called japati. I'm, I'm going around and round, around, with a little bit more flour, and then I, like this with my hands. The pan is very hot now, I put some oil, and the bread is cooking away. That will be the bread for the pasta, and in the morning I will cook the other one. Our bread is coming, so we must get the fork under it. Be careful of the pan. And turn it over because it's coming brown. See, it's cooking. Then I take a knife, and I make lots of little holes, and uh, we'll cook through quicker. Uh, bit of oil on this side because it will be turned over one more time uh, then the tomatoes you can put away the oil out of the way this is the bread from tomorrow and our pasta which we prepared earlier which is still nice and warm I check very good oh. That's compliment of Bob's chili. Whoa! Now you should be able to pick your bread up with your hand. And on this side, again, with the knife and hole. Ah. The joys of eating as you cook. And now I turn it off. I put the lid to the bread. And the meal is finished, ready to serve. Thank you for joining me. Our pan is nice and hot still. And our bread, as you can see, is cooked. 
you know, it's not doughy. It's nice. So now, to save energy and keep my dinner warm, and Bob's, of course, uh, I put the cast iron pan under the pot, and it will cook the rest of the bread and keep our dinner warm.